Good morning. Uh, this is Rochelle with Live in Vibrancy, and I wanted to jump on and talk a little bit about a topic. Uh, I received a, a message from someone um, asking, uh, how can I be in the state of having it while everything points to not having it? So she's been doing the affirming and such, and she's been getting dragged back into fear and worry, and it's exhausting. And she's experiencing manifestation fatigue, not because she doesn't have her thing, but because an involuntary internal response to the environment, in this case, seeing that it's not there, is setting off fear and worry thoughts. And this is because your brain is decide, designed to take you away from pain and move you towards pleasure. And so in this case, this circumstance is connected to pain. It means pain. And so I wanted to deconstruct this a little um, because I know that this is not the first time that uh, I've received this question and I, I know that a lot of people um, can struggle with this. So the first thing to understand here is that you create your feelings, both good and bad, and it's based on the meanings that you attribute to things, people, and experiences. And so what happens is when something feels really terrible, uh, we basically kind of program in a negative response. And so the and so we, we begin to attribute that particular thing to that negative feeling. And so as you, uh, as you allow the outside circumstances to determine your internal condition, this outside circumstance is going to continue to make you feel bad. And uh, this, most people are in the habit of letting the outside world determine their finger, their <laughs> feelings, not their fingers. The things outside you don't actually create your feelings the meanings that you give them do. So uh, when Neville said, lose the idea about free will to act, free will is choosing any idea you desire, this is what he meant. Because the actions are sourced from emotions. And so by choosing an, a, a meaning, right, an idea, you then can move into that emotion, which then drives the appropriate behavior. But I've talked about this before. People feel us even at a distance. So in terms of creating um, things in your life, you can, you can really get very far ahead by dealing with the emotional component, right? So um, back to meanings. So we, we look at the outside circumstance and the meanings that we give determine how we feel, right? So when so-and-so loves me, that means I'm lovable and valuable. When I have that relationship, that means I'm loved and valued. Uh, when I have the car, I'm, you know, successful. Or when I have the body, I'm sexy, all of that. But these are meanings that you give to things. Um, and they are not universal. So you can see that body image, sexy body image is different in different parts of the world. And so it's really, it really comes down to looking at meaning. So I want to kind of take this a little further. So uh, this is why uh, when we think that someone else has something uh, that, we, uh, that we think that we can't have, we feel bad because we make it mean something about us. So to feel as though you have it, even though it looks like you don't, you want to start with recognizing that you are creating a meaning that it means that you can't have it. Right? So that's quite important because if you want to start creating that feeling of having it, you have to first give yourself permission to have it. Right? You have to take yourself out of I can't have it and this all the things outside of me are what tell me that I can't. No. It's the meanings that you give them and inside of you that has, is telling you that you can't have it. So, so this can often start with noticing that feeling of not having it, overcoming this, I mean. So um, you want to start noticing, okay, so for example, in her situation, she sees that uh, her partner that she split with and she wants to reconcile with is nowhere around. So this creates that fear inside of her. You're never going to have it, that worry. And so what I would suggest she do is to start with noticing the feeling. Where is that showing up in your body? Maybe this, your stomach 
or your heart or your throat. Each one of those body locations is indicating what kind of belief that is, whether it's about um, your value, uh, whether it's about connection, uh, whether it's about uh, your personal power or your self-esteem, your feelings of value. Um, and I did a video on this. Uh, I've done, I've talked about this in uh, when I've talked about chakras um, and how you can use them as a practical tool to help you manifest. So I'll put the description for, I'll put the links for those in, in the description if you're watching this on YouTube. And if you're watching this in my group, this will be in one of the units. So I've uh, also... Um, so from there, I want you to then ask yourself, what does this feeling show me that I'm choosing to believe about myself right now? And as I said, if you, if you don't really know, then you can use the, the chakras because they will say, they will determine like, I feel I'm powerless. I feel um, that people will judge me or whatever, depending on where it's showing up. So then at this point, I would advise a, a client to drop their awareness into that feeling. So let's say, for example, it's in your chest, it's in your heart center. So you want to get, you want to begin to accept that feeling. Don't make it wrong because everything that you resist, it persists. And the pain that you're feeling is actually happening because you're resisting this or you're intellectualizing it. You're talking, you're thinking, I feel this, I feel this because, or you're trying to explain it away. But what is that? What it actually needs is for you to just drop your awareness down and just really notice it, notice the sensation of it and just accept it. And even thank it for being there because this is a part of your consciousness that wants to protect you. And so this is, once you start to feel it, um, and then this is a point where a lot of people will start to just describe the feeling, like it feels tight. No, I don't want you to do that. I want you to really notice as if this were like a cut finger or something. What does the sensation feel like? Um, and if this is something that you struggle with, because intellectualizing this is not going to be as effective. So if this is something that you struggle with, you want to consider doing some embodiment work so that you can begin to connect to your body. Um, and uh, I'll talk about the reasons that we would be disconnected from our body as well as embodiment work in a video that I'll make in the future. Um, and so once your awareness is on that place in your body, notice the sensation. And you want to be relaxing your mind because at this point often what happens is people start to give a reason. I feel this way because, or they start to describe the feeling or, you know, the thoughts about you are this, you are that, this means this, this means that. You want to eliminate all of these. Because when you move this feeling a lot, I mean, if you think about it, you have only a few feelings, like a, a handful of feelings. Let's say, I don't know, there's less than 100, but even if I, let's be generous and say like 50. But there are millions of thoughts, thousands of thoughts. So they are connected you're having thousands of thoughts connected to each one of these emotions. So if you begin to process these emotions out of your body, it's actually going to take those thoughts with it. And I'm going to show you this example kind of as we move forward. So once your awareness is on that place in your body, you're going to notice the sensation and you're relaxing your mind so that you're not moving out of the body experience. You really are moving into presence here and noticing only the sensation. And so when you stop resisting it, It'll take a few minutes for some people, depending on the intensity or how long it really takes you to just relax in and stop resisting it. But that feeling is going to begin to fade away. Now, the caveat to this is sometimes we have something that's really deep and really ingrained, and this may not take a few minutes. This is, uh, this, this is where you're going to want to start processing out this emotion, right? This is where you've attributed a deep belief about yourself. And so you're, it's kind of like a self-concept situation. And so you want to um, be processing that out. And I will, I'll talk about this in another video um, because this is a process that I lead my clients through and it gives me an indication of where they are. But so for in the example of um, just noticing where that feeling is and eliminating it in the moment and taking those beliefs with it, um, you want to just feel it and then just let it dissipate. Because what you'll notice is that 
after you have allowed that feeling to leave, if you ask yourself that same question, what am I choosing to believe about myself now? You're going to notice that that feeling of, I can't have this, it's not available to me, that person will never love me, or whatever those thoughts are, they're not there anymore. Because most likely those thoughts came from someone else's words. And they were connected to a deeply uncomfortable feeling that you felt in your body. And so removing the feeling allows you to begin to clear those words. And so this is a process you're going to want to do each time. Um, and every time you do, this really allows your um, consciousness to raise. This raises your vibrational energy. Because about, um, and so the reason that you want to do this and the reason that it actually affects your consciousness and your beliefs about yourself is because about 80% of your unconscious mind is actually your body. It's taking in information and sending it to the brain constantly. You're getting more information from your body about than um, from your from like your brain. So your body also has involuntary responses to things that you've connected meaning negative meanings to. And so this is what I'm talking about when I say you had a negative situation and um, this so maybe someone's words triggered a negative emotion in you. Now those words are connected. This is what's happening. You've started, um, you've started to, or you basically have kind of programmed those words in and connected them to that feeling to mean something. And so the reason that you want to begin to process this out is not only because it allows you the thoughts to leave, but when your body is relaxed, you can now connect thoughts that you want to that relaxed feeling. You start to change that negative programming to that person, thing, or situation. Because look at it this way. If you're tense and bunched up and feeling like fear or worry or doubt and you're affirming, my partner loves me, my partner loves me, your brain knows you're lying, first of all. And secondly, your brain is actually going to decide that the love from that person, it feels crappy. And so because your mind moves you away from pain and towards pleasure, you will continue to do unconsciously whatever it is you can to keep that person out of your life. And so for this reason, when you notice that the fear and the worry and the doubt come up, go through this process of um, pro like removing the emotion and the belief from your body. Because as you systematically do this, you're going to notice that you feel more and more confidence and that you are able to step into your assumption and stay there without being yanked out and causing this fatigue. So I hope this was helpful. Um, she asked a few more questions. So I'm going to do a series of videos deconstructing her email and each question that she had and how I would address this um, so that you can uh, take these into your life and start to apply them so that you can step into your manifestation, feel like it's yours and stay there. So if you found this helpful, please let me know in the comments and I will make more content like this guiding you through this process of staying emotionally aligned because removing a resistance and staying emotionally aligned is the most important thing towards going towards your goal. It, it allows you to step into that trust and belief and stay there. Um, so if you found this video helpful, uh, please like, share, and subscribe. And I offer coaching and all the details, if you are on YouTube, are in the description. And next time I will be back answering the question, how would he even know or find the attraction again?